Hi, Karen Barber here with Prayer Ideas. And today we're going to share another great new idea on prayer. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, and that is action answers to prayer when something happens. So let's get some action going right now. Oh, it sounds like something went in, maybe even two things. Hope it wasn't the cue ball. Well, anyhow, this is great because we love action. We love to see all the pieces moving together. And who knows what wonderful good fortune we're going to get right now. Well, we love the yes answers to prayer. That's the kind that you'll hear on the prayer chain when someone says, oh, the operation was a success. And of course, we can all find that as an answer to prayer because we're saying, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, how wonderful. And so we find those real easily, those yes answers to prayer. But you know, if there's a change of events, there also could be a change of events that you weren't really expecting or really like that much. And those are those no answers. Now I define a no answer to prayer is when something just a door shuts and you know you're not gonna get that particular thing you prayed for. For instance, you see this beautiful house, you go to put contracts on, somebody else already bought it, that door is shut. So you're gonna to have to go somewhere else. What am I gonna do now? Well, if you get those no answers to prayer, you're not alone because even St. Paul got them. Let me read something that about his discussion on this. All right, so St. Paul had something he described as a thorn in his flesh. Now, we don't know what it was. It could have been a terrible disease. It could have been a mental anguish or torture. We don't know. But we do know that he prayed and prayed, oh, God, take it away, God, take it you know. And I know he was a good prayer, so he was probably on his knees and crying and everything else. And he probably had lots of people praying. But then this is what he got, and he stopped praying for that to go away. 2 Corinthians 12, 8 and 9 says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So he stopped praying about that, and he went on. And he went on to be one of those great saints. He also went on to write lots of books in the Bible. And the reason he could go on is the reason you and I can go on after no answer, because a no answer causes you to take an action, and that action would be to look for two different categories of prayer answers, which would be presence answers and word answers. So that's the way we have to get started because a no is not the end, we have to do something next. Now, let me tell you about something that happened in my own life. I was a writer and everybody who's a writer wants a book published, oh yes, let's get published, yeah. And so I'm writing all these Christian novels and they're getting rejected, rejected, rejected. It's awful, I'm on my knees crying, oh Lord, this time please, you know, every time. And no, nothing, get nothing here. And then, you know, it's years we're talking about I went through this. And then one day I went over to meet with this lady, young lady, and she was a songwriter. Now she had sent things off to uh, publishers of music and she got some really bad criticism. I mean, they told her that her stuff, her songs were no good and her voice was bad too. But when I visit her, what is she doing? But she's having a child's music ministry and these kids are having great ball and they are singing her songs. And they are having a ball, she's having a ball. I mean, who wouldn't have a ball with a song called Cheese Ball on the Wall? <laughs> Don't you love it? So after that, I went home and started examining what was going on in my own life. So I thought to myself, if I'm getting all these no's, is there a yes that I should be looking for? Is there something else? And finding that next yes is a process, and that's why you need those presence answers and those word answers that are going to guide you. And so I took all that to heart, and guess what? The name of my first book published was, it's Ready, Set, Wait. Help for Life on Hold. So this is what I learned from that wonderful songwriter and a lot of other people who helped me learn how to have a great life and a life that's going somewhere even when you keep getting those no answers. Well, join us next time to learn about presence answers and also those word answers that are gonna be so important to you if you've ever gotten that no. Well, thank you for joining us. Visit our prayerideas.org website or go ahead and, um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Well, until next time, that's all, and may God bless you.